everybody. 4.30 in the morning. We're here in South Holland, Illinois at one of our drop yards. Uh, this is where I had to shut down yesterday because of uh, a load that I had taken to Wilmington, Illinois yesterday. I ran out of time basically. So I came here to pick up the leg load and uh, I couldn't make it anywhere out of here safely and legally so I just chose to stay here. I didn't make any hot coffee, so I'm going to just drink this monster here. I've been up since 4 o'clock, so I've been up for at least a half hour before pounding down any type of caffeine. So, we have a load of big rolls of paper. I would show it to you, but I sealed the trailer up. A leg load basically means another driver had picked this up in Pennsylvania. He was live loaded. And he brought it to here and parked it and now it's my job to take it up to the receiver in beaver dam but when i got here the trailer wasn't sealed so i hopped up in there i checked everything out everything looked good except for the uh, load lock had fallen down so i put the load lock back on and i threw a seal on the trailer um, but we're going to get live unloaded and then get down to pleasant prairie uh, I have an afternoon pickup there, and then hopefully I have enough time I can at least make it to Perrysburg, Ohio. Because that leaves me eight hours to Allentown from there. So hopefully, fingers crossed and toes crossed and everything else, that, uh, we, can, that we can do that. I don't know. It's going to be real tight. Even the Tiffin River Service Plaza, I could do it. Because that's about eight hours and 45 minutes to Allentown, maybe nine hours. I don't know, we'll see. But right now, it is absolutely beautiful out. Early morning, it's dark. <sighs> Trying to enjoy this before the rain comes. You can smell it. You can smell the rain on its way. I checked the radar, I seen where it was. It's kind of scattered right now, but uh, I suppose the thunderstorm pretty good, possibly, so but let's see. Let's get on my seat belt here, that way I don't fall out. No worries, mate, fall on out. Nah, just kidding. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tug this trailer here and get on the road. It's on there. Always tug test. Number one, always tug test. All right, now it is really bumpy through here. <clears throat> this is just kind of like a dirtish lot. So it's uh, pretty bumpy. But that's okay. Just a little word of advice, a little tip here. If you are going to come to Risinger, or if you already work for Risinger and you just don't know, when you come to the drop yard here in South Holland, always drop your trailer to where they're on the blocks because this is some muddy ground sometimes and they don't want trailers sinking down in and then have to call for a recovery. So it can never hurt to drop them on, uh, on some blocks. Now, I've come here before to either swap out trailers or stay for the night or anything like that and I have seen multiple trailers not on blocks so I've put them on blocks before I've gone through the empties and um, swept them out before and everything else I'm gonna go here past this guy here it's another rising or driver sometimes you just got to put that that extra little effort in. Go the extra mile. It can make a world of difference. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get on the road. Go through all these bumps here. With a heavy load like this, that could really tear things up if you go too fast. Back it down a little bit, driver. Back it down. What's going on? And even when you're next to me, I feel like you are gone. It's all the things you never show. They're all the things I want to know. Secret stars in your heart 
Well, we made it. Made really good time too. Got here about 8.30. I called the number to check in because that's one of the important things. If you come here to, um, I can't remember what it's called, on Corporate Drive, basically, in Beaver Dam. Um, if you come here, oh, what does that say? Procon, that's right. Uh, if you come here, there is a number on the sign you have to call. If you walk inside and you go on that dock and you try to check in, the guy on the tow motor in there, he will yell at you. I mean, he does it. I mean, he's seen me several times. I've been here a couple times now, and I walk in. The first thing he yells over, did you call the number? Yes. And, and he just says, well, shut your paperwork down, and he'll get to you. He moves quick. He, he does good, but he really wants to make sure that you've called that number to check in. And you have to make sure that you have the actual delivery number that is on your load assignment, whether it's a leg load or an actual load assignment, you, you will have a delivery number. That's the number that they need. You, you can't just uh, give them any, any old number because they won't take it. So you have to make sure that you, you have that exact delivery number. They'll tell you what it starts with. It's a seven digit number. So make sure you have that before showing up here because as soon as you call, yeah, you're gonna need it. Um, but yeah, it's now uh, 10 to 9. I only waited about 15 minutes and uh, made myself look like a fool, too. I was sliding my tandems, and uh, the, the load's so heavy. These automatics, man, they just, you don't have enough power sometimes to slide those heavy loads on the tandems. And I it stalled the truck. I felt it start rocking back and forth and shaking, and it bogged down. And as soon as I let off the throttle, whole thing just stalled I'm like oh how do you stall an automatic it can be done believe it or not it can be done and you got to watch but we're good now so we're in the dock and uh, hopefully we'll be out of here soon shoot down to Pleasant Prairie grab that load and uh, hopefully make it to Perrysburg and we'll have to see but Beaver Dam is nice especially in the summertime and fall but the problem is like right now it's just kind of cloudy and rainy and and yeah, we did hit quite a bit of rain on the way up here. It rained for a while. Um, pretty much up until I got to 151. Then it kind of calmed down a little bit. Now it's not raining at all, thankfully. So, trying to have a better day than yesterday. What a day. Just got done doing a little eating. We did make it to Perrysburg. It was tight, very tight. Uh, I got here with 10 minutes left on my drive time. So that was a, 
that was a good day. Um, not very many miles. Well, how many miles did I drive today? About 600. A couple miles short of 600. I was really hoping for more than that. But you got to remember, I started in South Holland, Illinois. Had to go up all the way through Chicago and everything into Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And then from there down to Pleasant Prairie. And then Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, here to Perrysburg, Ohio. I thought I was gonna have a little bit more time left getting here, but 10 minutes, not too shabby. There was nothing more that I could do. Um, I'm in sleeper now, so we'll go ahead and get started first thing in the morning, uh, taking this to Allentown. That delivers tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And then I have a Thursday reload in Akron that delivers Friday in Kenosha, Wisconsin. So I'll deliver that Friday, grab a uh, an afternoon load, and I'm gonna take that home, be home Saturday morning, and then start my week Monday morning going to Allentown. So it shouldn't be too bad. Should be a, um, a, a decent week. Uh, last week was surprisingly better than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm going to get some editing done and try to get a video uploaded here, and then uh, it's gonna be time to just go to bed. It's just after seven o'clock now, here local time, and uh, I'm gonna go to bed. And I tried to add some different, um, different camera angles, different camera views in today's video. Uh, let me know what you think about that, if you like it or not. I don't just make these videos just for me, I make them for all of you as well. So, like I did the head cam this morning, leaving South Holland. Uh, and then when I was in Pleasant Prairie cleaning out the trailer, um, I had the body cam on. Let me know if you guys like that or not. Uh, if you do, I'll, I'll definitely you know take the extra time to do that. If you don't, well, then uh, I won't. <laughs> I wanna do what you all like because that's the main reason why I do this. So with that being said, that's it for me for today. And we'll pick up with it here soon. Have a great day and have a great hike.